Okay, well, I have started. Did I? I did not do the intro. Hey guys, Julia here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am filming a whole other video, but I know I need to start thinking about my March bullet journal plan with me. And it is February 4th. I think it's February 4th today. Yes, it is February 4th. I know it probably seems a little early to be thinking about it, but Next week, we're going to be gone for a while and I'll take you guys with me to Santa Fe and hopefully that trip will be a little inspiring for what to do for my March bullet journal. I know like January was super blue, February was super pink and I don't want to go super monochromatic again. I know it's nice to have like a, a main color, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, in this video, it's kind of like a vlog. It's kind of like a journal plan prep. So you'll see how I come up with a theme for March and maybe, I don't know, I might feel a little fruity and go ahead and set up March in this video. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm, this is not planned. So we're just, we're just going to see, we're just going to see where this vlog takes us. Okay, hello, we are back from Santa Fe. We were up there for a conference, but have I been thinking about the March plan with me? Maybe just a little bit, but I don't have any solid ideas like March. I think of St. Patrick's Day, but I don't wanna do a St. Patrick's Day theme. I was thinking, okay, so in March, we're going to Boston for a national conference and so when I think of Boston, I think of the Boston Tea Party. I need to do some research on that to make sure it's not offensive, but maybe like tea something. I have no idea. What else? I thought of something else too. Now I don't remember my other idea because I didn't write it down. Cool. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sold on the Boston Tea Party thing. So yeah, I'm still brainstorming, but I do need to think of something soon because I need to start filming or at least sketching. Well, this weekend would have been ideal, but probably sometime during the week next week or next weekend at the latest. And if I do it next weekend, I think it's going to come out a little late, but I feel like... <laughs> Not that I'm trying to be trending, but I think people's plan with me's have been coming out late lately. So I'm just going to try to do, do what I can and get it out before March starts. So yeah. So later that day, I did go to one of my favorite sites for ideas when it comes to themes and it's called nationaltoday.com and you just click on whatever month you want to go to and then you get this huge rundown of all of these national and international holidays. A lot of them are a little bit weird and that's where I came up with that February bubblegum theme, creamsicle day that I did in August one year. I found on here. So I'm just scrolling down to see if anything catches my eye. So the first one I kind of was intrigued by was National Oreo Cookie Day because I love Oreos. And so when you click on that, you can kind of get some more information about why the day is. But then I hopped over to Pinterest just to get some more kind of visual inspiration and checked out some of these patterns, some of these doodles. Then I went to Oreo ads just to see if I could get any inspiration from the ads here. And I dig the kind of scenes like the Oreo ice cream with the people skiing and hovering on clouds and that type of thing. So I was intrigued by that. And yeah, those are some quick ideas for theme inspiration if you get stuck. Okay, hello. So it is the next day. It's rainy and gross outside. It's like after work or whatever. And so there have been some developments in the March plan with me. So after looking at the National Today website, I kind of came back to 
National Umbrella Day. And that made me think of the umbrellas kind of like hanging over walkways and you kind of see that in Europe. I've mostly seen it in Europe. I'm sure other places do it too as like, kind of like a public art slash wayfinding device. And with work, I've been working a lot with wayfinding and that's been really fun. But also from that, I started looking up kind of the history of umbrellas and came across the parasol, which those are lovely as well. And so I was thinking about maybe doing this like parasol umbrella theme and then another i i'm kind of all about the signs or whatever but we were sitting down to do lunch and we usually watch something on disney plus or right now we're watching the bad batch mostly i saw on there this movie which i've never seen it looks like it's a pixar thing but it's called the blue umbrella and i like pop what that looks like up here but i dig this style i don't know about the colors i don't know how i feel about the blue and the red but i was thinking maybe i could use watercolor or something to get like that light wash and then use the micron as the kind of backdrop and the handle i don't know i feel like there's something there and I might just go with it for time's sake. This is this is what happens. <laughs> I'll just go with it for time's sake and yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. We'll see, maybe. So the next order of business was to find a font as an inspiration for the lettering and I have thousands and thousands of fonts and they're all not Actually on my computer, I use a font manager software. This one's called Write Font and I love it and I've been using it for years. So I just type in what I wanna see and then I can choose what type of lettering it is, how wide it is, if I want a script or a serif or a crazy display font. But yeah, I just go through and try to find a font that fits the vibe that I'm going for or something that pairs well with the art style that I'm thinking about. So I'll just go through and kind of do little screenshots of any ones that kind of catch my attention. And then I put those together once I have, I try not to get too many of them. So maybe three to five of them and I pick my favorites, I put them side by side, and then I just go and decide which font I wanna use as inspiration for the lettering. And in this case, I really love this West Side kind of blocky, fun font. I thought it paired well with the kind of simplicity of the graphic style if we're looking at that blue umbrella poster. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Hello, we have a little bit of progress. The plan is today to like get in gear for filming. It's the day after Valentine's Day. I feel like any other month I would have been starting to film now. I try to film like in the middle of the month so that I give myself a nice week and some change to edit and get things done. But this video isn't even edited. I haven't even started it. So good times, good times. But we have some progress. I'm going to be figuring out color today and with that figuring out what supplies I want to use for this month's setup and what else have I done? I have a quote in here and I have it on just this little sticky, sorry the lighting is not great in here, it's that overhead fan situation. Okay, so the two choices I have for quotes, I just found both of these on Pinterest and I just typed in like quotes about maybe sunshine on one and then the other one just like quotes about women because March is also International Women's Month. So I wanted something female positive, and yeah, so the first one is stay close to people who make you feel like sunshine. So that would go pretty well with the umbrella thing. And then the other one is the female positive one. It is her soul is fierce, her heart is brave, her mind is strong. And so I really like that one. I don't, it doesn't really tie in with the umbrella thing, but I kind of don't care because I like it. So I have that. And then the only other thing that I've done in the journal is 
just the little squares for the calendar, like where the calendar is gonna go, where all the boxes are. Same thing with the weekly too. So just very functional layouts. From here, I am ready to pick some colors and supplies. So I know I mentioned the other day that I wanted to use most likely gouache, but I was not telling the truth. So I wanna use watercolor because I have a whole drawer full of watercolor that I haven't really touched that much. And so, so far this year, it's been about supplies that I haven't used as much. In January, I used gouache, which it had been a while. February, I used color pencils, which I've never used in my bullet journal. And so this month, I want to use some watercolor. And I think I'll just base what colors I wanna use off of that, so. If you've been around here for a while, you know this is where I keep the bulk of my stationery and watercolors are here. Okay, hopefully you can see that. This is the Archer and Olive watercolor. So I have that set and a bunch of other sets, which I can go through to see what colors I have. Then I have a few of these Derwent Graphitint. And so there's some Nice colors here. These are a little dark though. These always come out a little dark, but also these like pas ooh, pastel colors, which I haven't used at all. So that might be fun. And then I have a super basic watercolor set. It is well loved. Just some basic colors there. I'm kind of interested in the pastels and then we'll see what we got going on for these Archer and Olive watercolors. Okay, I think the first thing I'm gonna do, cause I wanna see what the colors look like on this paper. So I'm not gonna do anything super fancy. I'm just gonna grab this little watercolor set. Comes with a little water brush, so. Kinda like that coral pink. I feel like that blue, and that's close, of course, to the blue umbrella promo image. Ooh. I like that storm gray color, and then we have silver blue. That's also really pretty, actually, like these two together. Those last two together. I don't know how well that's gonna show up on camera. Okay, let's check out the Arch and Olive ones. I like that green. We are not doing another monochromatic thing. <laughs> I love these greens though. I kind of like these two together or even like these two with like a black. Let me check, let me test it. Okay, so yeah, I just flipped it over. But I just wanna see what this would look like with that green if I can find it again. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the one in this green. I just realized that there's names. Olivine. That green, this tan, and this like storm gray. I'm gonna try this. I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm gonna use this pigment micron in a 12 first. Okay, that works. All right, let me do one open. Oh my God, that is cute. And then for the parasols, It's kind of cute. I'm not in love with it. I'm just curious. I 
Um, I think that's cute. This is, I don't love this. It might work out though, so I might just use it. And the thing about it is, I feel like since the doodles are not hard to do at all, that I wouldn't really want to sketch them out, but instead I may do like something on my iPad just to kind of guide me on where I want to put things in the setup but I don't think I need to sketch in the journal. And I think that I wanna add some extra paper. Since that's the case, I wanna add some extra paper just for some more texture. Okay, so this is my trusty filming box. So I just put all of the supplies that I'm gonna use in this box and so, except for this stuff. <laughs> So I have my watercolors that I'm gonna use here. And I don't need a whole bunch of extra painting supplies because I think I'm just gonna use that water brush. So I have that. I have my super thick Micron. And here's that water brush. A white jelly roll for the highlights. Of course, I gotta have a glue stick and glue tape just in case. And some washi tape, so I thought this washi tape would go pretty well with the colors that we chose. And then I just have this for reference. And I'll also have my printout from my iPad as well. So I'll have that as a reference. I just picked out a few Tombows that match the color scheme as well, just for like the calendar headers and things that I don't want to paint. And then finally, I have that kind of scrapbooky paper that I'll be using, maybe, maybe not, throughout the spreads as well. So as you can see, this box is well loved, but yeah, that is pretty much it. And I'm hoping to start filming today and see how far I get. We'll go from there. Okay, we have done it yesterday. I filmed the March plan with me and I have to say it was the smoothest plan with me filming process ever. And it took, I think, two hours, which is like half the time that it usually takes to film. So I was very happy with that. I got it done right after work, before dinner. It was perfect. So hopefully the editing doesn't take that long and it'll be out in a few days. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you want to know a little bit more about any aspect of this video. What do you want to see next on these prep vlogs? Are you liking them? Let me know. They are fun to film and fun to edit. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in a couple of days maybe in the March plan with me. So see you there. And if you like this video, here are a couple more I think you would enjoy.